when I don't fuck with others. You bitches be faking, you phony and posing. That bitch tear. Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. I got you something. Hey, Bex, I got you something in there, too. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, I'm just letting him get the roll and shit. Oh, yeah. 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 Sneak with it. I'm like, who is posting them? <laughs> Hold on. Right off the bat, I got my first gift for you. Oh, that's a gift. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. hey. Oreo cereal. I love you, shit. How I'm much sorry. do you love Oreo cereal and what's your favorite? Fucking love Oreos. I'm gonna be honest, I just started eating this like maybe a week and a half ago. Yeah. And I fucking love the shit out this cereal. Like, all I don't know why. Mm -hmm. But my favorite cereal. Of all time. Of all time. Is. Gotta be Captain Crunch with the berries. That's I'll see you on that. I'll see you on that. Mine, Fruity Pebbles. You know, yeah, something yeah, like, yeah, something okay. like that. All right, now tell me about where you grew up in Winston and what inspired you to become a rapper. Um, Vineyard Crossing near the mall, so I guess you'd say West Side of Winston. Um, I started off singing, honestly. I yeah. started doing like talent shows at my school. I was just knew I was gonna be a singer, yeah. but then like around the age of 16, um, I heard Nicki Minaj like on a, a Gucci Man tape or like a yeah. Wayne mixtape, and that really inspired me because I like Trina and Lil Kim, but I don't know, it was the way she presented herself. She was more so talking about like, her diamonds and just yeah. like, you know, how she was flashy, but she was hard, but she was like a bad bitch too. And I'm like, I was, at, back then, I was a tomboy, but I was still girly, so I was like, yeah. that just really inspired me. And then, I just went, you know, started to happen. All right, now, random question. How do you feel about rumors in general or rumors in this city of Winston-Salem? Uh, I think it's pretty lame. You know, you shouldn't judge it, especially having been here. I think it's lame when people out of town say, like, oh, Winston is... It's like, it's just boring, or it's nothing to do, or you know, we're like small-minded country people. It's like, damn, yeah. like, That's how it know, is. I don't like that. How did you expand to get radio connections? Um, honestly, um, really it was just because of the views that everybody kept saying, like, oh, we want to hear this on the radio. So people started spamming the radio callers. And then um, I know the night before they played my song, they played it at a 102 Jams like um, charity event. Yeah. And um, like the next day, uh, the DJs was, the, I was always in contact with the DJs, every DJ up there. And um, I think it had something to do with also DJ Issa, he co-signed it. And yep. so then uh, I remember DJ Er hit me up and was like, hey, send me the um, Lotto radio edit. And if it gets approved, we'll play it. And then that same night around like 10 something, they played it. And it just went crazy. I think that's exciting for you. But uh, my second gift for you is right wow, here. <laughs> you want to open it? Yeah, oh, okay. Open it. But yeah. as you're opening it, I got a line to spit and I want you to explain this to me. My nigga, we're not equal. I'm OG. You more like a secret. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on, say it again. Oh. My nigga, we are not equal. I'm OG. You're more like a sequel. Oh, shit. On my own. Yeah. Zane the man. Zane the man. Damn. I gotta write the whole thing. I can't yeah. <laughs> I got so many rhymes to keep track. Um Damn. How was that song with him? Yeah, that shit was funny because uh, me and Zane, we you know we work together. I don't know they wanna yeah. open it. <laughs> um, me and Zane, we work together at Residence Inn and you know, we just came he came to my house, we just sat down and we wrote the hook together and um it was lit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we sat down together and wrote it, and we sat in the car and just played for a while. We actually, you know, I wrote it. I want to say, like, I wrote it the same night we recorded it. Like, I kept bullshit, and then it at yeah. that work. Right? I, wrote, I wrote this shit at one of the And where was the video filmed at? Um, the video was filmed, um, it was at this park by kind of near downtown. I can't remember the name of the park, but um, yeah, it was in a parking lot. Oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about another video. I have so many videos, but hold on, wait. I gotta, I gotta pause this. Yeah. yeah. What can you tell me about your addiction and your love for anime? I fucking love anime because I'm an animated person. Mm -hmm. Everybody says that. I don't know if you can tell. Like, when I'm talking, I'm just like... Yes. <laughs> like, yeah. So, um, and I'm very passionate. Like, if you ever, like, hear the songs, uh, the intro to songs of anime, it's, like, yeah. real passion. Like, they sing that little Asian heart up. You vibe to the melody. Yes. And I'm a very passionate animated person. And, um, I don't know, anime, it's just, I like the storyline. You know what I mean? And I just, I like to look the action. What old school cartoon did you grow up on? Uh, Cat Dog, um, SpongeBob, Rugrats, uh, Monster, real, all real monsters.
Uh, what is your favorite, let's say, 90s cartoon from Nickelodeon? Yeah, it's got to be all that. All that? Well, it's not a cartoon, so. What I you think, Julian? Friends. What's yours? I think Rugrats. Come over here. This is Julian, though, another man part of the channel with the J of the channel. Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon. Favorite cartoon, all of that was a banger. They bringing it back, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Team, probably Teen Titans. Teen Titans. Well, we got another gift for you right here. What? Y'all did? This is my, this is my birthday or something? Yeah. <laughs> Say you love, love anything these. Asian, yes, and I then in your lotto video, you had mini made juices all yes. around. Ah, I love trolleys, I love trolleys, anything pink. It's crazy, you got pink. Yes, I love, all of it. Love pink. What is your hey. favorite food and thing to drink, like in Winston Salem? Let's say that in Winston Salem to eat. Yeah, in Winston. My favorite place to eat. Like if someone came down here and from out of the country or anywhere and they wanted to eat somewhere so banging, where would you tell them to go? Well, I love Asian food. I love the food. Uh, everybody will say all right, but I say, I say, because they get noodles. That's what I'm <laughs> about to spit another line to you. Okay. Italian nigga eat my? Pussy like a nolly. Oh my God. <laughs> now, where did that line come from? Oh my God. Okay, uh, I freestyle kind of like the second verse, you yep. know what I mean? And for some reason, when I was freestyling the part right before that, I was thinking of the Godfather, when the guy was like, he got to go get a cannoli for his wife. Yes. And what can you say about the remix, Delato? Um, I do want to do a remix. I'm actually working on it. Um, my top people is Rico Mashley, Black Tuna, and uh, Doja Cat. So. Organized. When people say, what's her name? The girl who made the cow song, Moo. No, they no, say no. you and her are just like twins. Uh, I don't think so. Just I like, do y'all not think you got the same, not, I don't want to say personality, but if y'all click together, do y'all think y'all be great friends? Possibly. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I really like that her, her Moo video because like it had the anime in it. Yeah. So, and she seems like goofy and stuff. So I think we could definitely like vibe. Also. What can you tell me about the skating rink, the video of Lotto? How fun was that filming that? It was fun, but it was so difficult because the police officer was being the ass. Y'all need to fire him, by the way. Skate world. But, um, you know, it was a lot of parts where I wasn't playing the music. Um, I was just rapping and it actually just was on beat and everybody linked up and vibed at the same time. It was great. It was Actually fun. Um, I learned I could not skate on the four wheel shit. Yeah. I'm straight rollerblade. Can't do it. <laughs> and there was lots of people in the video. Who can you tell me was in there that you can remember off the head? Sauce Pack. We got Faze. We have Vaughn. We had J.O. Of course, Apex was in there. Um, damn Bosch. Uh, Terry Suave. I mean, damn, there's so many. People. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Visa Finesse. And we had Savvy. And would you mind bringing Apex over here? <laughs> Apex! Apex! You and Zoja, come on. <laughs> oh, if he fall. Oh, no, I hope he does. <laughs> wow, all these gifts. I feel very special. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> that poster is going up to the dog. Yeah, you gotta ask me that question about Sailor Moon because there's a reason why, why mm. I'm infatuated with Sailor Moon. Just make him take and edit that. Yeah, yeah. What are you coming? Why do you love the anime Sailor Moon? What is that? I love it because I feel like um, I relate to her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When it's a regular one, she's a regular speaking girl, she's a regular person doing a relationship and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But then she can quickly turn to like, you know, like a superhero. And I feel like I am that when fighting for like stuff that matters, like love, you know, no. respect, and things like that. Did you watch Naruto or Dragon Ball Z? I was I'm Dragon Ball Z. So. Over Naruto. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> and who do you have with you today? Apex 3400 and Zojo. Welcome Apex 3400. What's happening? What's good? Hello. No. Nope. <laughs> nope. All right. Now, how did you and Apex 3400 meet? We met actually through OG Spliff. Mm -hmm. Um. And 
one day, I think when I came to the studio, we finally met. I oh, know you hit me up on Instagram. Yeah, I heard. Oh, so you slid and heard the DMs. Yeah, yeah. Okay, had, okay. I had heard her voice first, and then I told him, I was like, yeah, we need to link up with her. And yeah. then I found out she used rap. I'm like, damn, yeah, she, she right. All right, now we got a gift for you, Apex 3400. Go ahead and bring that in. Yes, sir. You have a song called Jumanji. Yes, Chopper. Jumanji. Yeah, now hey, show the camera Jumanji. that real quick. Yes, sir. Now that is an animated series of Jumanji, three seasons, 40 episodes. Hope you enjoy that. Appreciate it, man. And now, to end the interview off, <laughs> why should people care about Tia Karim? People should care about me because everybody says, you know, I'm different, but I think I have more to offer than just talking about sex and um, saying like, I'm a bad bitch, you know what I mean? As every other female rapper. Yes, I think I really just made good vibe music, um, something that, it, I think I make classic music, you know what I mean? And I grow as far as like, you know, if you see my first video in 2013 until now, I'm just, give me a second. Okay. Um, me because I think I'm a positive especially on females and I can be and I just think I'm very iconic and I'll just bring something different to the table I have many different flows and I like to use classical music I think I can just change the game and I have a different vibe and sound I think people can learn from me and is there anybody you want to shout out who is not here today I want to shout out to Vibes I want to shout out to Savvy and I want to shout out to Sauce Pack and definitely OG Swift alright and people we give you Tia Corinne <laughs> Yeah. I don't give a fuck, I'll beat a bitch up, scratch off like a lotto, bitch try your luck.